Good morning. It's summertime, and this is typically how the day will start off. Beautiful blue skies, sunshine, and then we get the rains in the afternoon. We've been getting a lot of rain. <clears throat> Today, I wanted to talk about uh, different conditions, like skin conditions, for instance, um, what causes skin problems? We see a lot of teenagers, they have pimples, uh, eczema, psoriasis. We see that with adults, eczema, psoriasis. Doesn't matter how old you are, skin issues can be a problem. I've had them, I've, I've had eczema, and I, I still have traces of it, but things are getting better. Why? I've gone back to a totally raw, 100% raw diet. Why does that help? Well, remember, the human body is supposed to be slightly alkaline. Alkaline, not acidic. What causes an acidic body? What causes acidosis? It's caused by animal products, cooked food, Okay, those are the two biggest. Animal products and cooked food cause acidosis. Your body's trying to deal with that to get rid of it. And you know, it's trying, you're either trying to poop it out, pee it out, or it's going to come out of your skin. So, you know, these foods that are acidic they're, they're, they create heat, they create inflammation in the body, okay? Uric acid, which is caused from anim animal products, and cooked foods, especially starches, okay? So, um, they're very tough for our body to deal with, these acids. So, you're, you're trying to get rid of them, you can't get it out by the by the colon or the bladder it's going to come out the skin so the simple way to fix it go on an all fruit diet for a week or two and then of course you know i'm not a total fruitarian okay the main portion of my diet is fruit but i also eat many vegetables okay a lot of leafy greens a lot of leafy greens I'm not that big on the cruciferous, but occasionally I have it. I'll eat some kale, some broccoli, some cauliflower occasionally. I like carrots and peppers and, and uh, sprouts and things like that. You know, so, but the leafy greens for me are, are you know, my main vegetables actually. So um, that's what causes it. It's that acidosis that causes that heat and that inflammation in the body. Now, what else is there? You know, there's other things that we have to do. You know, I've talked about, you know, what we put into our bodies is number one. That's probably the most important thing as far as how we feel. But there's other things too. We need, we need exercise. We need sunshine. Uh, we need good rest. You have to sleep well. You have to get good rest. But the other thing is our relationships, our emotions. Can they cause acid or cause an alkaline reaction? Well, that's definitely something you have to think about. Because things like hatred, jealousy, these kind of things cause acid in the body, okay? You know, negative thoughts about others, things like that, it's, it's going to cause acid in your body. We don't want that. We want an alkaline body. We want, it. alkaline is cooling. It cools things down, whereas acid creates heat, makes everything inflamed. So, you know, the emotions that I'm talking about, you know, like, 
which ones do we want to develop the most? Love, number one. You know, the Bible clearly says, love God with your whole heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. If you're not truly, from the heart, loving your neighbor, you're going to have acid, especially if you go to the other extreme where you hate your neighbor or something like that. So love is number one. Mildness. Don't be quick to anger. Calm down. Just think about it. Pray when you feel like you're getting angry. I'm not saying I never get angry. Of course I do. I, I can feel that feeling coming up inside of me. But I know if I let that feeling go, I'm going to create acid. It's just going to have a negative effect on my whole organism. So I pray right away and I try to get it under control. Am I successful every time? No, not necessarily. I make mistakes, but it's getting better. Let me put it that way. It's getting better controlling things like anger. So whatever we think, our, our thoughts, our emotions, are either going to create acid or alkaline in your body. So we want to think about love, mildness, and the third biggest one, <clears throat> humility. We live in a very competitive world. And humility by many people is considered a weakness because people nowadays are very bold about being bad. So humility is very, very important. And there is a scripture that's in the Bible that I really, I love this scripture and it's so true. And here's what it says. It says, do nothing out of contentiousness or out of egotism, but with humility Consider others superior to you. Consider others superior to you. That is a great thought because I don't care who it is, that other person does something better than you do. Whatever it is, it may be they're more patient than you. They may be more mild than you. They may be kinder. They may show more kindness than you. Whatever it is, we have to look for that, that superior quality that they have that they're doing better than you. Consider others superior to you. And you will ha start to see what humility is all about. And it's a wonderful thing. And it's in the Bible because, you know, God only tells us to do things that are beneficial for us. Only things that are beneficial. So he's not going to tell us to, you know, think of others as superior to you if it wasn't good for us. It is good for us because that other person has good qualities. We have to learn to see those good qualities. And when we see those, we're, we're, oh, it's just a lovely thing because we're, we're, love is welling up in our hearts for, for another human, and that's a good thing because love is what it's all about. That's the whole, what life is all about, showing love to others. That's the key. And if we all did that, we'd all get along pretty good. So that's what I wanted to talk about, that acid-alkaline balance. But it's more than just food, exercise, rest, sunshine. It's also our thoughts, our emotions. What are we thinking? What are we really thinking? Be honest with yourself. Be honest. Take a good look and uh, remember, Love, mildness, humility. They have a very, very good effect on your body. Please give this video a like, a thumbs up. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. All the best. Take care.